Hi, I'm Ronnie Smith. I'm Susanna Love, and together we run Ronnie Smith Kennels in Pahuska, Oklahoma. Our family has trained dogs for nearly a century, and along the way we have learned a thing or two. Here are some simple methods to make life with you and your dog more enjoyable. Some of the tools that we use in training and in, in the reasons why, um, we like a leather collar, a flat leather collar with a D-ring. The reason for leather is because it will rotate around the dog's neck freely and this allows this point of contact to be consistent as you're working with your dogs, whether you're, you're quartering them or working on your, your recall. The D-ring as opposed to an O-ring is because an O-ring, when you uh, a dog pulls, it has a tendency to collapse the, uh, the collar um, and therefore it doesn't rotate and, and kind of uh, restricts airflow. Where the D-ring, when you pull on it, the, the collar stays um, round uh, again and, and won't impede how it, it rotates around the dog's neck. Second is the check cord. Um, we use the check cord a lot in the initial stages of training because it allows us to be in, in a controlled environment and that just ensures success. It allows you to make happen what you want to happen. We use a nylon, a tightly woven um, solid braid nylon rope. Um, it is 20 foot long, has a good brass swivel snap on the end. We want a tightly woven rope is because in time as it cures, um, it will become stiff and a stiff rope is easier to keep uh, from getting between your dog's legs. Uh, again, still making sure that your point of contact is right on his neck. Some of the other tools that the Smith family is very well known for is the Wonder Lead. Um, and we use this to teach a dog to heal. Um, we want our dogs to heal on a loose lead. We don't always want to have pressure on their throat. We want them to be able to walk calmly beside us. And the reason this works so well is that it's got an automatic springing action where it automatically is going to give that dog release after a cue. So it helps them to, to learn to walk beside us on a loose lead. If we're in a scenario where we want the dog to range out a little bit in front of us, this uh, a flat lead like this comes in really handy. Again, it's got the, the bronze swivel snap just like the check cord so it um, keeps the kinks out of the lead. It's got a handle at the end where you can hold on um, if your dog starts to pull and that way they don't get away and you keep your dog safe. So these are a few of the pieces of equipment that we like to use. Um, when you're looking at buying equipment for your dog, look at quality that's going to work for you. You don't have to go overboard, but you want um, very functional pieces. This equipment is what we use in the, uh, the foundation level of our training. This is, is how we teach all of the, the commands, the hear and the woe and the heel and even quartering. These are the, the basic uh, fundamental equipment. 